Hey there YouTube! So today I have a manga haul for you. So let me show you what I bought. So all of the manga that I have bought recently is from Clamp and Clamp is like circle or it's like a group of four women that um, create the, these manga series and they are some of like the most iconic and most well-loved series. It, they have made Karkatar Sakura which is my favorite and like Chobits and uh, Magic Knight Ray Earth and Tsubasa, Triple X Holic, you know, um, so like these really really popular like iconic types of series that are super popular in Japan and also super popular in the US. The reason that I bought all of this manga is because I am kind of working on a series about Clamp and all of their different works. Essentially I just want to read all of Clamp's manga and then um, review each series. So it's gonna kind of turn into a huge vid video project but it's gonna take a long time to complete or like even start because um, I have so much that I need to get and read and analyze and everything like that. I'll show you what um, progress I have made so far. First off I got the very last volume of the Karkaptor Sakura manga. This is volume 6 of the Cardcaptor Sakura Master of the Clow and I'm gonna tell you a thing about this series. So these are the, this is the original like printing I think from Tokyo Pop that was printed so many years ago and this is the like printing and version that I have like half of the series in so I didn't want to go and buy the omnibus versions of them because it doesn't match and I would have to like rebuy all volumes and I don't know what to do with those stuff that I have so I was trying to collect all of these but these are super overpriced like this one I got for super cheap it's not in the greatest condition but I got it for about five dollars the volume five of the master of cloud which is the only master of the cloud volume I am missing on thrift books a used copy of it goes for over one hundred dollars why? Like I understand that Card Captor Sakura is like amazing and is the best, but like no used manga and no like regular printed manga is worth over a hundred dollars. Like stop. So I have friends looking out for me in like secondhand bookstores if they ever go. Like if they see them, like they will buy them and tell me and I will give them money so that they can get so I can get the rest of this series. I'm so upset because I wanted to start with this series but I'm not gonna be able to because uh, I don't have all of them. But yeah I got this one for cheap so I was very happy. Next I picked up three volumes of Legal Drug and so this is about um, two dudes and they kind of like solve uh, supernatural mystery type things. I've actually read this in the past but I don't remember anything about it. I know it is one of Clamp's unfinished works and it's one of the things that um, lots of fans are very upset that it's unfinished. Um, I think it was recently just revived so I think there is another volume of this but I don't know if it's out in the US yet or if it's available in English. And next I got the both of the omnibus versions of Angelic Lair. So this is a to my knowledge the complete series it's not very long um, and so it's the whole series just bind it up into two large volumes. This is essentially about um, a world where there is like this super popular game where you control like these dolls and they kind of like fight each other. Um, I know a lot of Clamp fans really really like this and I don't know if it's super popular anymore um, in the US but um, it's something I've been really interested in reading and um, picking up so I'm glad that I found it in like two nice like omnibus versions and it's not super long. And then finally I got the first omnibus version of Rig Veda. So this is Clamp's very first series. This series was published in first published in 1989 so this is almost as old as I am. There are three of these. The third one doesn't come out until the end of May. It is very very large and it's very heavy. So this series is about kind of um, this world where there's a evil dictator type of person and um, another like lord, I believe his name is Lord Yasha, has to go and collect these like six different warriors and when their powers are combined they can beat the bad guy. I'm not 100% sure but I believe this has inspiration from some type of mythology. I don't want to say the wrong one but it is like based on some sort of um, 
mythology from somewhere in Asia, possibly in India. Hey there everyone, uh, very tired future Christy here, um, but I just wanted to correct myself um, to when I was talking about uh, the influence on Rig Veda. Um, so it is based on the Vedas, which are like a large body of like um, text from India. Um, so it's based on one of these like four volumes of the Vedas. It's based on the Rig Veda. Um, I probably should have remembered that since I took a class um, on this in college, but um, yeah, that's where the influence for, for Clamp's Rig Veda comes from. But yeah, that's all of the like monks that I have bought recently. Um, I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'm really, really excited to start my Clamp series. Um, it's gonna be a while before it comes out, um, but hopefully I can uh, get something out in the next few months. Honestly, it'll probably be Angelic, Angelic Lair because I have the entire series already. I feel like that might be a good one to start with. Really wanted to start with Carcaptor Sakura, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more um, manga and book and anime and nerd related content from me. That's all I've got for you guys today. I'm Chrissy Lou. Till next time, matane! <laughs>